Hi, Pastor Bob here from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church. You know, there's a soft drink company that has a revenue of over $32 billion. That revenue, that was the amount of revenue in 2005, $32 billion. That's a lot of money. So in comparison, they could afford to lose a large amount of money compared to what you or I could lose. That company is PepsiCo, PepsiCola whose national headquarters are in New York, for its Pepsi 400 racing contest in the summer of 2001, Pepsi offered to send the holders of five winning tickets on an all-expenses-paid trip to Florida's Daytona 400 auto race. You can imagine the excitement that brought to a lot of car enthusiasts. One of the five would get it to drive home in a brand-new brand new Dodge truck. The other four would get uh, $375 worth of gas. So the total cost of this whole game would be something around $31,000. But a problem developed. Instead of printing out five winning tickets, the organizers printed 55 winning tickets. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, instead of alienating the winners, not to mention the Pepsi drinkers, Pepsi sent all 55 winners to Daytona, gave away five trucks instead of just one, and spent $20,625 on free gas. The original budget for the gas was just $1,825. The total estimated cost of this mistake was about $400,000. But with an income of over $30 billion, $400,000 is just a drop in the bucket, isn't it? You know, there are mistakes that we make as humans that may seem pretty small, but can lead to losses that are immeasurable. Take, for instance, the Bible says if we break only one of the Ten Commandments, we break them all. How can that be? The reason is because the Ten Commandments are not a collection of individual rules. It's a perfect, harmonious revelation of God's will for all our lives. So when we break one, we really break them all. Whoever keeps, James says, whoever keeps the whole law except for one part is guilty of breaking all of it. James 2, verse 10. Father, help us, Lord, to understand that... Uh, the Ten Commandments are really important. We need to keep all of them. Bless us, Lord, today to, to honor you by keeping them all. In Jesus' name, amen.